today on what to do we have a bobcat quick cat mower and we're gonna remove the motor this is how you do it all right looking at the deck here you're going to have your chains here two on this side and there's going to be two of these on the other side now you can either remove the bolt from the top or you can remove it from the bottom for this video we're just gonna remove the bolts from the top of each and drop this chain down we are using a three-quarter inch socket for sake of the video and speeding it up I had already loosened these and I did not need a hold back but just be uh, prepared that you may need an adjustable or another three-quarter inch socket for the back that side is out if your chains are super tight when you're removing these um, you could do some damage to the threads on the bolt so you could get a two-ton jack and put it under your deck and jack up a little bit to relieve the tension on your strains prior to uh, your chains prior to loosening these up so there's not so much uh, tension and when you take it off this doesn't just fall down onto your feet if your feet happen to be there so so now we're gonna come over here to our this bar that we have in the front it's going to have a nut uh, or a bolt on one side and on the other side this is a half inch Okay, so when you loosen this side, which would be your right side if you're looking at the machine, when you loosen this side, you will notice this side will start to slide out. Okay, and you can slide this all the way out. And it will allow, you can see, that to separate there. And we got that bar all the way out. If we come over here to the other side of the machine, you'll see this is where this pulley here is your tensioner pulley all right that is keeping the tension on this belt so you uh that's the only thing now remaining that is holding the uh the deck in place so you either want to get a bar and push on this to uh loosen your belt up and pull it off which i had already removed my spring all right so mine's kind of just free now your deck you come around back over here and take it off of this pulley and now the deck is you can see it's completely completely free now and uh, I got this on a chain hoist here up to the ceiling so I'm gonna crank that up and I should be able to slide that deck right out from under it with the deck out of the way we're going to go ahead and remove the clutch so we're going to come under the machine here and here is your clutch all right and underneath you're going to see your 5 8 bolt all right our bolt is out and there's our clutch right there just make sure you keep a hand on it because it will drop and you do have a wire here in the back, but unplug that wire first, actually, before you take that nut out. We have this belt still on here, and we have this pulley that we need to get off if we're going to pull this motor out. <clears throat> so back here is your tensioner pulley. All right, now you can do one or two things. You can get a bar in here and pry up. But you don't want to pry up while you're pushing on the belt because that's not going to relieve any of the pressure. You got to go get your bar right on the top of this pulley right here without messing up the pulley. And you want to use this right here where your, uh, your clutch actually slides onto this. But you can use this bracket here. Lay your bar against it and then just grab the top of that pulley and pry and that will push this in enough for you to pull this belt off. All right, our belt is off and the pulley dropped. There we go. If you look inside here, there is a keyway inside this clutch. Make sure you don't lose that keyway. All right, and there's also one inside of the pulley. You don't want to lose those. All right, but we can go ahead and Set those units aside for now. All right, so you're gonna want a 9 16th socket. Um, the ones you're actually gonna take out are not uh, 
not these carriage bolt ones. Okay, it's not those. It's the ones actually inside the block. So they, these are already loosened, but it will. Be, these were recessed in. Okay, so you're gonna have one, two, and these are already sticking out because I loosened them, but they uh, were recessed in. Okay, again, you're not taking off the nuts of the carriage bolts. You just go inside. And it's the ones on the inside that are actually going to the block of the motor. Those are the ones you're going to take out. Now that I have them loose, you can see the motor is moving. Before I start uh, taking out everything that's connected to that motor off to pull it out, uh, you want to come around. And my seat's already off back here. But uh, disconnect the positive from your battery. This way... Uh, because you are going to have to get down there to your starter, and we'll cover that in a minute. And take all those wires off. And we don't want anything arcing and sparking while we're doing that, so go ahead and disconnect your battery now. Then come up top and shut your fuel off. The uh, fuel pump's back here. we got a hose coming to it to our fuel filter here. So we're going to pull that hose off of there. And there's no gas drip in there, so we're okay. But what I'm going to do now is safely secure that in an upright position back there for now. We can go down to, if you look, here is your power wire to your starter. We're going to take that off. All right, starter wire is off. Now we have this wire here going to this uh, switch up here. We're just going to unplug that. And we'll put that back out of the way back here so it's not to be in the way when we pull that motor up. Now, I'm in a little bit of a rush job doing this, but, you know, if uh, you want to, you can be a little bit neater. And as you pull things away, you can zip tie them up. If you're one of them people that feels like they're going to lose track of everything, get some different color tapes. Tape one end with uh, color and tape the other end. So you, let's say you use blue tape, you would know that blue attaches to blue and then you could label this one yellow with yellow tape and put yellow tape here then you know yellow goes to yellow uh the black wire on the top of the starter we want to remove that top wires from the starter removed if you look back there is your voltage regulator now if you see this wire on the bottom here let's see if i can get my camera in there this wire on the bottom there's also one this bigger one on the top you don't need to remove that one. You want to take off this little one on the bottom, and that just pulls off like that. Okay, now you're going to have two wires uh, right here, which actually come out above the voltage regulator. One is going to be a male end, one's going to be a female end. They just unplug. And there you go. You can see those two right there. You want to unplug those two, and you won't have any problem figuring out which one goes back and where because one's a male end and one is a female end. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. You can see them there. You got your throttle and your choke cables, and they go around the side here. Flathead or a Phillips head. You can see it'll fit either or. You're going to loosen these two up, and it will loosen this little bracket, and you'll be able to pull that out of there, and then you'll be able to... Uh, just kind of move these around in the uh, angle that you need it to, to get them out of there. All right, you can see the clamp is loose. This is up. The top one here is our choke. And what you want to do is just pull that back and then kind of pull on your cable out. And there you go. All right, our throttle cable's loose. And with this one, same thing. You want to pull in towards you and then pull out. And it should pop right out. Okay, now, the very last piece you're going to need to remove is your fuel line here coming into your carburetor. This is where you may want to get a pan and set it underneath uh, in case you have any fluid uh, coming out of here. Hopefully you did shut the fuel off, as we mentioned earlier, but if you didn't, please shut it off now, and that will uh, save you a little bit of a mess. But you're going to want to get a little pair of needle nose or pliers, and you're going to want to crimp this clip and pull it back. As our fuel line, fuel is off, nothing's coming out. 
And we're just gonna tuck that out of the way back there. All right, the motor is now ready to come out. Now there is an uh, exhaust shield here, a bracket, which you can take off underneath. You can see the, the nuts up top here, there's two of them. And underneath, they are castle bolts. You can see them there. All right, I am going to uh, try to do this without taking them off. So basically, when I pick this motor up, I'm gonna try to pull it out on an angle so that that exhaust will slide out past the bracket and then lift it up. And we'll see how effective that's gonna be. If not, then I will take that uh, basket cage off of there. And there it is, the motor did come out. As you can see, I didn't have to take that shield off. It kind of just pulled it out and slid it sideways and up. And I was able to get that out. And there it is on the hoist. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just clean all this up uh, since we're rarely under here ever. And now's the opportunity to clean all that and maybe clean up in here a little bit. Because the next time we'll be back in there, who knows? Might not even uh, ever be back in there again. So while we're waiting for the new motor to come, we're going to clean it up. And that's how you take out the motor on a Bobcat Quick Cat. And please, guys, hit subscribe below. Give me a like, and I'll see you next time.